I do. I love watching sport. I don't get it sometimes. Like, you know when you see those pubs and it has that big board outside and it says live and here tonight, England v Croatia. And I think, how the fuck they want to fit in there? Because <laughs> sometimes they have that other board outside and it says fight live. And I think, that's going to happen. Fucking in there. <laughs> that's a defo, that is. And rugby, that's a good sport, rugby. The game of no responsibility, rugby. Someone throws you the ball, you go, fuck, I don't want it. <laughs> it's no wonder, have you seen the blokes playing it? They're fucking huge. <sighs> Have a look at them, it's like bulldozers in fucking shorts. <laughs> Two bits of discarded bubblegum in his ears. <laughs> ah. It's like Mr. Potato Head with a fucking glandular problem, you know? <sighs> so why is it, why is it, if you noticed it in rugby, all referees are little short fellas? Why has he got these blokes roaming around the field with cauliflower faces, the tops of their head held on with industrial tape? Who's in charge of these lot? Jimmy Cranky. <laughs> and they all listen to him, you know? You walk up to him and go, ah, now listen, you now. When I blow my whistle, I want you to engage and smash your fucking heads together. OK, no problem. As soon as one of them players swings a punch, he's like, off my pitch, I'll have no violence, you. Yeah. Fuck you, man. It's like... Because <laughs> the ref understands what they're saying, you know. You know, he understands it. They'll be like... Ah, no, no, no. You'll have to go in the break. <laughs> I don't care if you have shit your shorts. What is that thing they bring on for the kicker to take his kick to put the ball on? It's like a little cat feeding bowl. <laughs> he must have a fucking nervous cat at home, that bloke. <laughs> you know, every time the cat goes to the ball, he's like, ay, 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 ay. <laughs> Sorry! That's OK! <laughs> <laughs> And they cheat in rugby. Every time there's a throw in, they lift the fucker up and he catches it. <laughs> That's like one of us going for the eye jump. We get a couple of our mates to chuck us over the bar. One, two, three. Cheers, thank you. <laughs> That's the difference between rugby and football. You know, you get pronounced dead on the field in rugby. They just stand up and they go, it's all right, I'll run it off. <laughs> in football, you only have to tap them on the floor going, oh, chop it off, it's a no good for me now. <laughs> He just spoiled my makeup. <laughs> That's what gets me about footballers. They read about an agony on the floor. As soon as they score a goal, they start doing fucking backflips. That's what I don't like about football, that side of it. You know, the unsportsman stuff of it. I don't like unsportsmanship in football. Like, I hate it when a team's in the lead and they get the ball, you know, they take it to the corner and try and keep it there to waste time. You never see that in other sports, like the darts, you know? Some bloke playing darts goes up to the board. No, 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 no. <laughs> You know, you never see that in the swimming. Some blokes in the lead, fuck, I'll go in the corner, do a bit of paddling, waste a bit of time. <laughs> and that, I don't get in football. You know, what is that, though? You've seen the subs warming up on the touchline? What the fuck's that one? <laughs> when do they ever use that on the field? I hope he never uses it. You know, there's a penalty shootout. Yeah! No. <laughs> And they have pointless tricks that they do, footballers. You know what, have you ever seen that one? What the fuck? I don't know what the point of this is. They kick it up and they catch it on the back of their neck. What's the point in that? Good news, lads, we signed Quasimodo from Notre Dame. <laughs> I feel sorry for sports where they can't show off and do tricks like that. For instance, you can't do that trick in the javelin, you know? It's like... Oh, oh. <laughs> fuck, you see now, I thought that might look good. Get a lot of foreign players come to England, they don't perform very well on the pitch. They always say the same thing. Hey, find it hard adapting to the English game. The English game? Wait a minute, it's the same game all over the world. Where the fuck are you from? <laughs> wow, did you come on on the first down, a polo horse or swimming out and some skis, you know? I just feel I don't fit in somehow, you know? Because <laughs> people say, people always say that. They say, it must be amazing being a footballer, getting paid vast sums of money for just doing your hobby. 
but it's not a hobby anymore, is it? It's more complicated than that. You know, needle craft, that's a hobby. But you never see some little old granny sat there stitching, you know, loads of needle craft fans around. They're going, you dropped a fucking stitch! <laughs> I pick it up! <laughs> they do the unfortunate, some footballers, you know? 30 grand a week, some of them, 40 grand, 50 grand, 90 grand a week, some of them, and then they say stuff in interviews like, you know, I'm just not enjoying my football at the moment. Not enjoying my football? <laughs> 90 grand a week? I'd be fucking delirious with it. <laughs> I wouldn't just hug somebody for scoring a goal, I'd shag them. <laughs> yeah. TV, I'd have the ball stuffed up my arse, you know. <laughs> 90 grand a week! Hey! <laughs> Taking the piss, they must be counting it up, going round the field, going up for headers, you know, 15 grand. <laughs> Taking free kicks, 35 grand. <laughs> Me, I'd be counting each step, one pound, two pound, three pound, four pound. <laughs> <laughs> they do the unfortunates. Look at them after the match. The jewellery they wear. You see them in interviews. They've got watches bigger than Big Ben. They've got fucking rings, earrings. I sit there with my missus sometimes going, I didn't know Pat Butcher was playing. <laughs> That's why you keep hearing about footballers' houses being robbed. It's because they keep posing in these magazines like OK and Hello and all that. They're wearing all their stuff. They're supposed going out. Do you want this watch? Come and get it. <laughs> Burglars go through those magazines, you all have that, 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 that. That's like the Argos catalogue to burglars. <laughs> they do they sit there with the missus every Christmas. Do you fancy that, love? Yeah, what's the instalments? Well, it's about four years and a year off for probation. <laughs> Fuck it, get us the plasma. <laughs> Everything in football's an advert. That's how they earn their money. You go to a football match, it's all around the stadium, it's on their shirts. You know, it's only a matter of time before they do an advert during the game. Somebody get fouled, they go down, they go, ah, ah, ah. Have you had an accident at work lately? <laughs> it's only a matter of time. It's only a matter of time. <laughs> <laughs> All footballers do adverts for razor blades. See, I don't get those razor blade adverts. They keep going on about the same fucking thing. Closer. Then a couple of weeks after that, even closer. Then the closest shave yet. They keep going on the back close-up. Why don't we just get our old razor and stand a bit nearer to it? <laughs> I mean, how close can you get? What's the next advert? Just a skull? Yes, the closest shave I've ever fucking had, I'll tell you that. <laughs> and the names they got. The fucking names. Fusion. Mac. Turbo. It's a fucking razor. And stealth, what's that one? Where the fuck's my razor gone? <laughs> and the blades they've got. Remember years ago it was just one blade, then it was two, then three, then four, now it's five blades. Where's it gonna end? Soon there'll be so many blades, we won't be able to pick the fuck up. You'll we'll have to leave it on your bathroom floor and rub your chin on it, you know? <laughs> That's fucking close, mind. <laughs> they have the vibrating razor now. Vibrates 360 times a second for a closer shave. Hold on a minute. Some of the vibrates gives you a closer shave. My nan vibrates, but I wouldn't trust her to fucking shave, mate. 